Hello again everyone, thank you for joining me, I hope you're all well. Okay, so I've been picking up pots, but I'm going to lose them all, so I'm not going to try and get that one. So uh, I think there was four more than what was in the shop. It might have been more than that actually, but who knows. Anyway, I hope you're all good, I hope you're all having a nice day. So it's going to be Saturday when this comes out, so yeah, happy weekend everyone. I hope not too many of you are working. I, I am, but I'm not going to do as many hours as I usually do. I'm getting burnt out. And, uh, yeah. I, so, um, on Thursday this week, I um, discovered the joy of playing Wreckfest with music, and that really did help. Yeah, some games are so refreshing when you play them. Oh, right, this isn't very fun viewing. There's three here as well. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you back at home in a moment. Okay, I'm just about to pull up. And I think what I might do, where I messed the colour up completely on this, I really liked our original colour that we got on um, the day that this came out, um, this update. I think what I might do is actually... Um, find the airfix code for um yeah olive drab because that's obviously the color i was going for uh because if i find that code i'm not asking anyone to do it for me by the way i'll do it myself yeah if i find that code i can get the paint perfectly how i want it so i might give that a try because then i can just go in and use the actual numbers so yeah, I'll be doing that, and then I can just make it matte, rather than, uh, yeah, a mixture of gloss and whatever, metallic. Right, let's get these pots down. Yeah, and I'm not going to need that many more, really. I know it's about, was it 80 something? But it's not too many trips, really. And there's about 700 laying on the uh, side of the road. Oh, and absolutely fantastic. Perfect timing. So we've literally just hit 600 subscribers. So if you were the 600th, 600th, welcome aboard. And yeah, thank you very much. It's amazing, the growth. I know it's still a, a tiny channel, but honestly, like the feeling you get is just amazing. That people want to want watch your nonsense. Right, I'll just knock that shelf. That's no, not even locked. And yes, I could have done it. Right, so I'm going to skip this bit. Because, um, yeah, you know how this goes. And having that X there probably really froze people. So, I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so just one more to go. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to um, getting the paint perfect. I remember when I was growing up. There was a really old Mercedes van um, that had been turned into a camper. and uh, But it was a stealth camper. Right, let's turn that off. And, um, yeah, I can't remember what type of Mercedes it was. It was way before the Sprinter. And, um, yeah, I loved that thing. And people used to say it was an eyesore. But, I don't know, there was just something about it. I'd absolutely love to have a camper van. Well, a, a stealth camper. Yeah, when I was a lorry driver years ago, I was spending so much money on rent and bills. And uh, I lived in the lorry most of the week. And um, it was just such a waste of money. And I honestly, I regret not um, yeah, buying a van and just living in that. It would have been really good on... Uh, on money and everything and also yeah I wouldn't have to live next to idiots at the time my my immediate neighbours were actually nice people but um, yeah unfortunately not everyone was nice there right so let's get the truck over there now 
Yeah, we've got loads of junk in here to get rid of. Yeah, I even designed one, so I was going to do a um, sprinter. I was going to try and do a sprinter van conversion by myself, but um, yeah, I just never got round to it. I'd probably still be an international lorry driver if I'd have done that, but yeah, because of uh, the stress of life and everything. And not being that well off, even though I worked really bloody hard. Uh, yeah, it kind of ruined it for me. But yeah, I could have been not rich, but pretty well off if I'd have made other decisions. Right. But yeah, I don't regret being a lorry driver, even for a moment. Okay, so we've still got all these as well. Um, it's Wednesday. Yeah, let's take this out. Yeah, because it's not really about the money at, at the moment, is it? Pop this out, it only takes a moment. And pop that there. I know that that's not connected. Right. I'll quickly move this round. Yeah, um, later on, hopefully, I'm going to get the chance to start playing uh, Sons of the Forest. I cannot wait. So one of my old favourite games was Rust. Uh, but I really went off that because... Um, so Rust is a... Oh, it is actually working. I might as well just leave it there then. Rust is an absolutely fantastic game. But it's flawed in my opinion because... Um, yeah, when the server resets you lose absolutely everything. And yeah, you, you've potentially put mega amount of hours into it. And then all your work was for nothing. So, yeah, I just had to stop playing it. Because, yeah, when I first got it, I didn't have time to spend, yeah, 10 hours a day on there. I did find a really nice server once. Where, um, yeah, it was kind of PvE rather than PvP. And uh, that was better because your place didn't get raided every five seconds. So yeah, I do like a survival game. And obviously, uh, yeah, seven days. Oh, that's weird. Can't rotate it. Um, yeah, seven days to die is a survival game as well. So yeah, should be good. But like I said, if it's not your kind of thing, if you're just a car person then that's absolutely fine. Don't feel like you've got to watch it. And it would actually help me out if you don't like it and uh, decide not to watch it. It would actually help me out because I don't want to be putting content out that people don't like. But obviously if the views are really high where people feel they've got to watch it, <laughs> it will um, confuse me. Right, so we've got the chips in there. Pop that over there. I really do need to... Um, clear up don't I I was asked to do a day of just um, tidying up but yeah I, I don't want to put you all through that so I'll do it off camera I will get it all nice I need to get some more stuff back don't I it's a shame there isn't another shed shame you can't buy a shed right why are you floating how dare you. And you can actually paint the calipers by the way if anyone's interested. So I probably should paint the calipers purple shouldn't I? Or green. Okay. Right so it's 8 o'clock. Then 
let's just sleep. Now, let's go and drop the chips off. Well, the fries. I love fries. Every so often, we find a um, a brand where they cook really, really nice. Like, yeah, crispy, but kind of soft in the middle. But, um, yeah, they always bloody change it somehow. And then, um, yeah, you get, like, soggy, soggy fries or just, like, tiny little bits and everything. It's so annoying. And I'm crap at cooking fries. But we have got an air fryer now. And, um, yeah, that does make a big difference. Yeah, whenever I get chips from a lot of kebab shops or places like that, whenever I get fries, they always feel like they're really undercooked. And, uh, yeah, I feel like if I keep eating them, it's going to give me, like, indigestion or something. So, I, my old favourite kebab shop, well, it's like a peach shop, it did everything. Um, yeah, I used to ask them to overcook them. <laughs> and then they were just about done. But it's really popular, so, yeah, people obviously like fries are underdone. I'll come off it. There we go. Right. That's one thing off the list now, isn't it? Okay, coming in, Leo. Yeah, hopefully, Sons of the Forest um, manages to download today. If not, it doesn't really matter, because I haven't got that much free time anyway. Right, I suppose on the way back I should probably try and get some of these pots back, shouldn't I? There's about 45,000. So I think there's one up here, one by the bridge, and then 24 million by the road. Oh, and I need to recover that at some point as well, don't I? Yes, the list is getting a bit long of things I need to uh, sort out. Yeah, and I, I'm itching to do a live stream, but my internet's just so crap. It's such a nice experience doing a live stream. I know I don't get many views, but um, yeah, it's, it's so nice when get to find out a little bit about you lot. Because obviously where the channel's so tiny, I do know things about you and I remember stuff. Oh, that was a dwarf salmon, wasn't it? See, automatic closing. Some more fries there. Right, I think there's three here somewhere. Right, that'll do there. Yeah. Nice. Okay, is it going to roll? Oh. Nice. Trick shot. Yeah, a lot of you guys have got really interesting... Well, I'm sure all of you have got really interesting lives as well. But, um, yeah. Like, some of the stuff I've heard is it's so interesting. And all the different countries as well. I haven't been able to explore much, unfortunately, in my time. Because, uh, yeah, I come from a broken family. And, um, yeah, I certainly haven't... Uh, there we go. 
certainly haven't had kind of the opportunities of yeah other people my age but one day one day I'll get there I do truly wish I could go back in time and just change my kind of uh, path because I always focus on money when I was a kid so I got my first job when I was really young and then yeah if someone offered me 10 quid more a day I switched jobs in no time and uh, yeah I was just always chasing money and it was great because uh, yeah obviously money makes the world go round but what I should have done is um, like IT courses or something future proof myself rather than just earn money on the day right um I'm sure we had five. It doesn't matter. Right, so I'll pop these down to three in the morning. So I've buggered up our sleep again. So what I might do is um, just skip a whole day until we get back to waking up at normal time. Then I can do one more, one more um, maple syrup run before it's the weekend. And yeah, should be good. Yeah, and if I'd done something like IT, I'd be able to um, yeah live in all different parts of the world by now. Bliss. Because I really don't feel like I belong in the UK. I don't like the UK anymore. There's some things I like, because obviously it's yeah, for a bloke, it's quite a safe country to live in. And yeah, it's nice to know that if I phone a the police, they will eventually come. But there's lots of bad things about the UK as well. And some of the people are really, really crap. Right. So we'll have some maple syrup. And some of that. Yeah, I changed this around as well because um, that was causing a bit of an issue having a barrier. So I just stacked them up there. Right. Are we going to die? No, we're not. We're going to make it. Right. 18 minutes. Right. 2,600. That must be from um, the French fries. Lovely. Yeah, and a lot of people really struggle to get um, cheesy chips right as well. Right, treat, Leo. Oh, there's some there. doesn't matter. Uh, okay. Right, well, I'm glad the um, french fries are all done now. One less thing to worry about, isn't it, Leo? Right, let's close the door. Ah, oh, missed. Oh, good enough. I remember years ago, me and my friend Jamie, who unfortunately passed away when he was 21, um, we used to always go out on road trips and stuff. And, yeah, one day there was about a convoy of four cars... And we went to a petrol station and, um, yeah, we had a competition of whose fuel cap closed first. So basically, the idea of the competition was you left your fuel cap open and then just, um, yeah, saw how fast or slow <laughs> it closed itself. It was so funny. But, um, yeah, it's 70 miles an hour in the UK um, the speed limit on motorways and dual carriageways oh bugger it and uh, yeah car I had at the time didn't quite make it but I did get it shut in momentum
Yeah, we also um, did another stupid thing. So it was really late one night when we were driving back. We'd been to this um, place called the Isle of Sheppey in the, um, just north of Kent. And, uh, oh, right, it went in the tray. Yeah, we've been to Isle of Sheppey and it's got some lovely roads over there. It's fairly far away from where we lived. And, yeah, on the way back, there was just two cars. On the way back, he took racing lines and I just stuck to the, yeah, lanes. And, uh, yeah, all the way back just to see whether it changed the mileage at all ridiculous and yep yeah, it had next to no effect but it did look funny right i've just realized it is actually the end of the episode so yeah thanks for joining me everyone really appreciate each and every view and if you've liked this please feel free to um join me in the next one i really struggle with depth perception on games mainly this one i don't know what it is i love this game though anyway right thanks for watching and fingers crossed see you in the next one bye for now